In this video, I'm going to show you how I built my personal website using Gatsby JS. So for this website, I had a few different requirements. I wanted it to be fast. I wanted to get it up and running pretty quickly, so I needed that to be easy. I wanted it to handle images well because I had a lot of photography I wanted to showcase. Um, I wanted it to have some sort of blogging uh, content section that was easy to maintain. And then I want it to be easily uh, deployable. So what I settled on after looking through a few possibilities was Gatsby. And as you can see here, Gatsby is a free and open source framework based on React that helps developers build blazing fast websites and apps. You just have static HTML, which makes it quite uh, performant. So let's take a look at the current site I have. This is what I have up. If we go to the homepage here, um, we can see I have kind of the header section with some animations. I'm recording here, so it's a little bit laggy here, but usually this isn't too bad. And then I have a couple cards, um, ones for blog and again, some animations here. And this is, the animations are React Spring and React Fiber, kind of a combination of those two. Um, so not, not too bad looking there, I think. And this again was just an SVG. Uh, I got the Eagle SVG off CodePen. Um, and then I animated it a bit and uh, changed up some of the coloring and some of that. So that's it. This is animated too with React uh, Fiber, React 3 Fiber. And then come down here, I got my photography section and it just loads up kind of a gallery of uh, photos from, from my photography. And again, you can click on one here and it loads it up. So that's basically all there is. Oh, the blogging section also. So if you go over to the blog, I haven't written anything yet, but these will be the individual posts and you can click on a post and this will be uh, the content of that and uh, uh, kind of a banner image also on that. So for that aspect, I used uh, Prismic and I'll show you that in a second. Um, but first, what did I use to style this? So I wanted to use CSS and JS, so I used Emotion for the styling, and I'd used style components in the past, and Emotion was basically the same. And then uh, I used a plugin called Gatsby Theme Gallery for the photos, and that made that quite easy. So I went about this, and I started with one of the starters from Gatsby. So if you look at their starter library, you can just search uh, Gatsby starters or go to the Gatsby site, and they have all these different starters here. Um, and the one I chose was this one, Prist. So I use this one here, and if we just, uh, we can visit the demo here and see what it looks like. So this was kind of the base template I was working from. Um, obviously I've changed thing up, things up a bit, but it does look fairly similar to this. An about section, uh, a couple cards. Um, Obviously I added the photo gallery and changed up the header and stuff a bunch, but it's pretty easy to get started with that. And then for the, the back end where I was using Prismic as a headless CMS here. So if you come up to Prismic and, and sign up and log in, you can come over and create a repository. Um, let's just do this real quick. We'll go test, test.com. Oh, test is already taken and test.com and we'll go free and we can create that real quick and I'll just, we'll just see if that works well. And then if we go into our repository here, we can define that as the main language and then you can go and create these custom types. So it can either be a single type or a repeatable type. So you'd use, um, if it was a post or something, you might wanna do that would be probably a repeatable type. Otherwise, if you just have one, and then you can just go in and literally customize it by doing, uh, what was this title? And then you can have a title as you see. So it's, it's pretty easy to use, um, it's super customizable, kind of a drag and drop situation. So if you just have a blog or something like this, I think this is not a bad option for that. Now, why don't we, oh, the other thing, this is what I used React Spring. 
um, three fiber for the uh, a lot of the animations. And you can see some of these examples are pretty cool. Uh, it's a pretty pretty neat library. So check that out if you're interested in animations. Um, but let's just get maybe a different one up and running just so you can see. So let's get up and running with uh, one of these starter portfolios. And this is one I've chosen. It uh, looked kind of cool. We can go to the demo here and just check it out before we try to go and uh, get it up and running ourselves. Um, so it's kind of neat, pretty cool design. So let's go back and let's try to get this going ourselves here. So let's see, scroll down here. So we can just copy this. Okay, so let's bring up our iTerm here and let's make that a little bigger so you can see that. And then we're gonna wanna CD into our desktop and then we wanna make a new directory. So mkdir and we wanna call that, we'll just call it uh, Gatsby-test and then CD into that. And then we're gonna, yeah, we can, uh, we'll open it up in our, in our uh, VS code here. And then from there we can open up our integrated terminal and we can run uh, Gatsby new and then the Gatsby starter portfolio here. So that's this command here. You can just copy that, uh, paste that in and then we'll hit enter and that should get us a new I think we might have to yeah we got a CD into CD into Gatsby starter portfolio Cara and then let's run Gatsby develop Oh, you know what we need to do from here is run npm install from inside the package. Okay, so once that's downloaded, let's go and we can go Gatsby develop. Make sure that's a little, just so you can see that uh, there. So Gatsby develop, you run that. Okay, so once that's built, we can go and we can, our thing will be hosted at uh, localhost 8000. So we can go over to that. And let's see if it works. Boom, up and running. So that's pretty sweet. We have this starter app all going here. Let's see, we can click on projects and stuff. Uh, it'll take us to, I guess that's an external link. But basically that's how you do it with any one of the starters. So it's a kind of a great scaffolding just to kind of start with if you want to get up and running quickly. Um, and then from there, obviously you can customize uh, however you want. So we can come in, here's the file structure. You can come into your SRC um, and depending on the theme that you chose, this is all gonna be different. But pretty basic if you know any React or um, it shouldn't be too hard to kind of get up and running. So uh, the last thing I think, oh, how did I deploy? So I used Nellify to deploy. So I had, uh, I installed the CLI for Nellify and you can also just do it through GitHub if you want. But once you have that, you've got to build your directory. So um, I ran what Gatsby, I think the command is build. Um, and then once you're, your site is built for production. You can run, if you have the Netlify CLI, you can just run Netlify, uh, what is it, uh, deploy. And you can go dash dash prod if you want to deploy it to prod. If you don't have this prod flag, it'll give you, it'll uh, first deploy it so you can just see it, how it looks, and then it'll ask if you want to deploy it to prod. And then once you do this, it'll ask you what directory your build file's in. So that'll probably be like the public directory. 
But that's how you do that and pretty simple to get it up and running pretty quick and that's how I did mine. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe or hit the like button and uh, until next time, thanks for watching.